All right, uh, this is Eric with Expiring Music Writer YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, comment, suggest, um, disagree, I don't care. Um, but anyways, this video I'm going to do is uh, I went and seen uh, Lance Rorick. Uh, he's a new young guy or a young artist out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. And he opened up for Kyle Nix, which is played with the Turnpike Troubadours and the 38s. Um, Saturday, or two days ago, Saturday night at the Majestic and Fort Smith. Uh, if you've never been to the Majestic and Fort Smith, please go, it's right on Garrison. Great venue, great staff, great atmosphere. I love that place. Probably my, it is my favorite concert venue. But uh, Lance uh, has got a new band since the last time that I've seen him. And uh, Lance, of course, is a lead vocalist and he plays acoustic guitar. It's a five piece quintet. Uh, Drew Spots is a fiddler. Nick. Patre, P-I-T-R-E, sorry Nick if I get this wrong, uh, is the bassist, and he used to play with R.C. Edwards and the Ambers. Uh, all, R.C. also uh, plays with Turnpike Troubadours. Um, and what was cool is actually R.C. was actually there, just listen, and I got to chat with them for a few minutes, it's pretty cool. Because one of my things, if you don't know anything about Oklahoma music, they brought the fire last Saturday night to the Majestic. But if you don't know anything about um, Oklahoma music or, you know, red dirt music, there's a place out in Stillwater called The Farm. And I've always wanted to go there. I think it's just grown up or, you know, there's not very many. I was asking RC about it because it's always been on my bucket list to go to The Farm because that's where Mike McClure had uh, got its start, and they were just sitting around um, showing each other artists, their uh, singers and artists, the songs they wrote. You know, Mike McClure was out there, Jason Boland, I'm Cody Canada, Randy Stoney. There's a few more, that, uh, those that know, but I've always just wanted to go out there. But, anyways, I was talking to R.C. Edwards of the Turnpike Troubadours and R.C. and the Ambers. He's like, it's still there, but only for certain occasions. But I got a picture with him. That was so cool. Uh, I've met RC before, but the last time I didn't really get to talk to him that much. And I just went, I chatted with him a little bit. I didn't want to bother him, but you know, it was cool that it was there. And that's what I love about a lot of the musicians that I know personally. They support each other. Um, but anyways, back to the Lance's band. Uh, Cooper Wan is a lead guitarist, and Nick Joan, Jordan, sorry, Nick Jordan was on the drums. If you don't know Lance Rourke, look him up. He is a badass. He's a young guy out of Telequal. He just released a new album uh, dubbed Better Man on March 31st of this year. And I'm, I'm going to review it i just hadn't got to it yet i got a new job and a lot of other things but anyways and he's got one single searching so all digital platforms go look him up facebook i'm sure he's got um twitter i don't know if he's got twitter but i'm sure he's got uh tiktok and other stuff but anyways he opened up the show with all original stuff that he's written in one um, cover, but he did 15 songs that night, and what I was telling Lance is, he improves the more times I see him. I've seen him about three times, and I'm hoping to make it out to Telequal, because that's where they play a lot. Uh, sorry, allergies are really bad in Arkansas. But anyways, uh, that's why I'm drinking a little bit of water right now. Anyways, uh, he did 15 songs, I said, one cover, and we'll get to that in the review, but they did a fantastic job. 
uh, they kicked off with Hard Road to Ho. Then they went into Rain, Shine, Overtime. Then they did a new song called Luck Penny. And then they did, he did another new song called Big Bad Heart, which was co-written with R.C. Edwards. Then he did Freeborn Man. That's another new song, I think. And they did Oklahoma Black Top, which I think is becoming a fan favorite. And I'm so mad at myself for not getting that on video. Um, but I took a lot of video and pictures. So by the time that song came around, well, and you know, I already took an, like a 20 minute video and I wanted to save some battery for Kyle Nicks, but one day I will get Oklahoma Blacktop Live. Uh, then they did a song called Ten Killer. And if I'm not mistaken, and y'all can quote me, or Lance, if he watches this, I think he also wrote this with, uh, this was either an R.C. Edwards song or he crow wrote it with R.C. called Ten Killer. And then they did a, song, a new song called Stone. Then the title track uh, off the album Better Man. And they did One More Chance, which is a new song. Uh, Shut Us Down. Then they went to the Cajun Queen. Uh, then Wait So Long. Then they went into Search. And this is so cool. They ended their set, Lance and them, with Steve Earls down the road. And it was so awesome. They put their own spin on it. Um, and I wish Lance all the luck. Hope he gets great success, and I hope he comes back around Fort Smith at Majestic. And what was bad is the last time he that he played at the Majestic, he'd opened up for Cody Cannon and Departed, which is my favorite band, if you can see. I got two tattoos on my forearm, Ragweed one, if you can see, and then Departed, and I got sick with COVID and could not make it. So, but like I said, Check out the uh, video I recorded on this uh, Aspiring Music Rider. Then after they got through, Kyle Nix and the 38s got up there. And I was really didn't know what to expect because I'd never seen Kyle Nix. And the bad part is nothing about them. But by the time I figured out who... Turnpike's Troubadours was. They're back on the road again, I think, if I remember correctly, is what someone was telling me. But, but by the time I figured out, really started getting into the Turnpike Troubadours is when they took that break for a little bit. Uh, and the funny thing is, I think I've seen or met every member of uh, Turnpike Troubadours except for Evan Felker. And I hope to see him one day. Um, but anyways, uh, Kyle Nix and the 38s, they've got a new album coming out. It's called um, After the Flood Volume 1. And there's an intro by Shooter Jennings, which I'm dying to hear. I love Shooter Jennings. Never met him. Uh, wanted to get something signed. And uh, was... He played back in 2020 or 2019, I can't remember, before the pandemic at the uh, casino in Pecola, Oklahoma, at Gillies, him and his band. And I was just too nervous. Or no, 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 not nervous. I don't think I knocked hard enough. I wanted to get my guitar signed, but no one came to the uh, the bus. That, and I kind of ran off real quick because I was like, I really don't want to bother them. But anyways, uh, I'd love to meet Shooter Genius. I don't think, I've heard he's not playing that much anymore. He's doing more of the producing. I hope I get to meet him one day. But anyways, uh, Kyle Nix in 38. Uh, Kyle is on fiddle, guitar, and is the lead vocalist. Uh, Gabe Pearson is on drums. They had two drummers that night. Chris Killingsworth is also on the skins. Adam Duran. Is on guitar and Kevin Hasta or sorry, or uh, not Kevin. Hang on, or Haystack Foster. I I'm so sorry, I forgot that. I'll look it up. Uh, 
They call him Haystack Foster is on banjo and then acoustic guitar and vocalist, Ken Pomeray. Pomeray, sorry if I get this wrong. Um, uh, she's got a couple, or I think two albums out, so check her out. She's a folky kind of uh, sounding artist. Uh, she, uh, she sang some songs and played Acoustic guitar and Kyle Nix and 38s. Uh, but Kyle Nix, they've got two singles out that's on the new upcoming album, um, After the Flood, Volume 1. Uh, but they did, uh, Kyle Nix and 38s did 20 songs. Most were originals. They did a few covers. They kicked off with The Wolf at the Door, then went into, uh, Lightning on the Mountain, then they went into Old Joe Clark, then they played Play Nice, which is off a new album, and then Close the Bet, which is also off a new album. Then they did uh, Another Bad Dream, which I think Ken sang that song. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ken sang that song, and then... Uh, and they did another uh, new song off the upcoming album, uh, Five Feet and Bulletproof. And then they did Shelby 65, then Blue Eyes, Little Miss Jones, Good Girl Down the Road. Then another one off uh, After the Flood Volume 1 called uh, Nothing You Can Do. And then Ken sang another song, and for the life of me, I did not... Thanks to write it down because I was recording or type it in. I cannot think of what it, what it was called. Something about a cowboy, though, I think. But look it up on, on my Expired Music Writer channel. I got it, that one, recorded. Uh, and then they did Cabin Home on the Hill. I think that's a new song. They did Sitting on Top of the World, which is a blue at, blue grass. <laughs> I'm so sorry, blue grass. Classic. It was written by uh, Sitting on Top of the World, written by Walter Vinson and uh, Lonnie Chapman. And it was originally recorded by Mississippi Shrieks, but it's also been recorded by Bob Wilson of Texas Playboys, uh, Bill Monroe. And Milton Brown and the Music Brownies. I think it's been re uh, recorded many, many times after that, too. Um, afterwards, they did Rolling In. Then they, this was, I wish I would have gotten this, their version of the bands up on Cripple Creek on video. On video. Uh, they did a fantastic job on up on Cripple Creek. And the funny thing is, or not really a funny thing, but a lot of the people that do, um, that I've noticed that bands or artists that cover the band either do Atlantic City or The Weight. I've actually never seen Cripple Creek covered before by any band, so that was a, a, a pleasure for me. They did Fairy Tale Blues, which is off the upcoming album. Then they did Billy Joe Shiver's Georgia on a Fast Train. They ended with uh, Cal and Nix's Graves. Uh, got to meet a lot of the band members afterwards. It was so cool. They saw my guitar, which I truly appreciate. Um, I hope to see Kyle Nixon again. Like I said, I hope to make it up to uh, Tahlequah here pretty quick. And also go to Stillwater. Um, but if you haven't had the chance to see Kyle Nix, the only eight and the 38s, please do, that you will not regret that, even if you don't know that much about it, they put on one hell of a show, uh, and ch or, uh, support local music, independent music, and God bless, and y'all have a nice day.